government has failed to do its job. Some think America is at a tipping point. What have we done to this country? And that one major catastrophe, natural or man-made, could send the country over the edge. The could hit the fan tomorrow. When you wake up in the morning, the whole world could be a big pile of And if it goes, will the government be there to rescue them? This could be our Katrina this year. What have you done to prepare for that? We have a very hostile border, which is not defended by the United States government. We'll call this border the war zone. Everybody needs to wake up and smell the coffee. Nuclear reactors. We could have one melt down. You're going to have utter chaos. Three groups across the USA are rising to the challenge to step in and defend the country if the authorities are unable to do so. To them, it's a race against the clock. As the inevitable beats down their door. If the government's not going to step up and do their job, the watchmen are here to secure the nation. But will they be ready in time? Where you are, put the muzzles to the ground. Nobody does anything stupid, all right? I don't want to see that gun move. Stay okay. right where you are. Tango! Really? Let me go. Okay, you're our guys. Let's go. Follow with us. Right now. You go with him. Let's go. Get in the seat. Put your muzzle down on the floor. Do not touch any of your weapons. You understand me? Okay. All right. One more thing. You're not going to like this. All right, turn around. Get in. Oh! Two new recruits have just been welcomed into the fold by the commander of the Arizona Watchmen. My name is White Wolf. I'm the commander of the Arizona Watchmen of America, a group of dedicated volunteers doing what needs to be done in terms of securing the freedoms of our nation. The Arizona Watchmen's self-proclaimed mission is to patrol the border, push back the tide of Mexican drug cartel violence, and stem its estimated $36 billion a year drug trade. We have a very hostile border, which is not defended by the United States government. We'll call this border the war zone. With federal resources stretched thin, the watchmen step in to patrol a border that in some places is nothing more than a cattle fence. My men know their lives could be in jeopardy if they make a mistake out there. This is real life, this is the real world, and it's right on our doorstep. The Mexican cartels have placed a $5,000 bounty on the head of each militia member, so the watchmen take no chances when welcoming new recruits to the fold. All right, come with me, come on. Keep your hands off your weapons. Captain, form them up. Captain, fall in. The watchmen insist that their voices and appearance be altered to keep their identities secret. Gentlemen, these are our new recruits. This is San Posse. And this is Sea Dog. This is our primary first operation post. We do not give this location up to anybody who hasn't earned the watchman's trust. We're within a mile of the border. There are people on the other side of that border don't like what we do here. The cartels out there, they have bounties on us, and if they can't see your face, all the better. From here on out, you have to keep your identity a secret. To the north, the leader of the Watchmen of Indiana awaits the arrival of his troops. The group is actively preparing for the aftermath of a feared terrorist attack on a nearby nuclear power plant. Illinois has six nuclear reactors. If a third world country wanted to attack and cripple a nation, six nuclear reactors, take them out, you're going to shut down more than a third of the power grid in this nation. You're going to create utter havoc and chaos. I honestly feel that what's fixing to happen in this country is well beyond the government's help. I hear it. Nance's compound lies well outside the blast and fallout radius. But the aftermath of a large-scale disaster means supplies will dry up quickly 
and the unprepared will be desperate for food and water. So the unit focuses on the tasks of stockpiling supplies and securing the compound. I got it. Got it? Uh, what do you got in here, brother? Yeah, I got lots of stuff in there. I see there. that. Ready? Help me up with that. <clears throat> got it. Look at Chernobyl. Look at Fukushima, Japan. We need to prepare ourselves and be ready for whatever could happen right here. All right. Can good. Can good. More first Great. aid. If a nuclear reactor were to go down, hey, glad you could make it. I'm going to get my members here. This is where we bug out to. Got it. At the heart of their operation is a large stockpile of food and supplies that'll get the watchmen through the immediate aftermath of a large-scale disaster. What the members brought in with them would last approximately four to six weeks. Hard right, right there. Our motto is Semper Paratus, means always ready. This is where we store anything that we procure, such as blankets, pillows, sheets. We've got lanterns, grid goes down and, and hits fan scenario, we've got light. We have stored water. Each one of these holds 30 gallons of drinking water. Canned meats, spam, roast beef, corned beef. We got beefaroni. And a lot of this stuff, you may sneer your nose at, but when you're hungry, you'll be amazed what you'll eat. We may have to go out and hunt. The bows are extremely quiet. The only sound you hear from this out in the woods, that's about it. Compared to a rifle shot, I fire off a rifle to kill a deer to feed seven or eight people, and I've let everybody know in the three-mile area where I'm at. And tactically, you can't afford that. We've got uh, first aid supplies here. Ibuprofen, muscle aches, something that you may not expect to see a guy carry. Tampons. If one of my men winds up with a puncture wound or a bullet, wound instead of me putting my finger in it i insert this in the bullet wound and just like a woman has to use this pull the plastic part out this will stay in it's made to absorb you're able to put a bandage over top put pressure on it's going to absorb that's what they're for semper paratus always ready meanwhile 800 miles to the south the leader of survival group, the Watchmen of Florida, races to the outfit's compound. This is IC. Anybody at camp got their ears on? Over. Everything's going to fall apart. Large-scale disasters, they're not a matter of if, it's just a matter of when. Look at Katrina. Look at the aftermath. Dead bodies floating underwater. People dying on the street. Why? They weren't prepared and properly trained to deal with that threat and the government failed to do its job. That's where we come in. Barn. Bravo. Yank. Here we are. When I seen Hurricane Katrina, seen that massive devastation, I says, you know what? Why don't I start a group? These men and women gather at their homestead in the woods, off the grid, to prepare for the violent looting and rioting that follows in the wake of a massive hurricane. It's in northern Florida. I'm not going to say where. It's a good place to stay secure. If it ever hits the fan, we could effectively survive out here indefinitely. Using the resources around us, we've got natural springs not far from us, all the fish you want to eat, putting a garden in. You guys got your inventory on the food here? Simple yes, sir. We got 48 MREs ready to go. We have all of our pre-made food. So we should be good to go for about three months? Yes, yep. sir. Okay. In the outside world, these survivalists lead what society calls normal lives. I'm a mechanic and a musician. I am a licensed massage therapist. I'm studying emergency management. But when they're here at the compound, they're dedicated to ensuring their safety and survival. The Constitution says it is a responsibility for every American to stand up and defend our nation. Everyone, from the age of 17 to the age of 70 years old, is part of the militia. That's what most people don't realize. They are the militia, just as our founding father. George Washington was the militia before he was the general. Paul Revere, the farmers, the blacksmiths, the cooks, the carpenters, they're all part of the militia. They had to be on standby with their muskets. They had to be ready to go out the door in a minute. That's what the militia is. All right, let's get rid of the background chatter. Everybody listen up. All you that drove across the state, drove all night to get here, 
thank you so much for being here. I am the logistics officer for the state staff of Florida Watchmen. I was in the military in the U.S. Army. I am certified as a firearms instructor. Also, for 13 years, I've been a card-carrying member of Mensa, the high IQ society, top 2%. Hurricane season is upon us. It's right in our backyard every year. Surviving the hurricane is easy. It's what happens after the hurricane that's going to be the problem. The Watchman's Specialty Unit, the Family Protection Group, or FPG, evacuates Watchman family members from their homes in a time of crisis. They're doing this to protect people. And every year, the Watchman's top prospects buy for a spot on the roster. It's something to be proud of, something to earn. During a home extraction, four team members secure the perimeter, secure the perimeter. while five members enter the home. Watchman FPG. Go. Entry team members sweep the dwelling for unfriendlies and secure the family. Bedroom clear. Back to one secure. We're here with a Florida watchman. Clear. Bathroom's clear. Extracting them from the hostile environment and shuttling them to safety. Reload the security up. Over the course of the next 48 hours, Ed and Jeff will assess which recruits are worthy of joining the FPG team. I've only got two days. That's it. Because we, we're not going to have another opportunity for this for hurricane season gets here. This is serious business. We've got a lot of work ahead of us. Is it going to be easy? Hell no. Coming up. There he is. In Arizona, White Wolf's watchmen are hot on the heels of suspected drug mules. If they use deadly force, we fire back. In Arizona, Colonel White Wolf and his men have set out on a mission to patrol the Mexican border with the hopes that their presence will turn back the flood of cartel drug runners. This border is not secure. All this is is a vehicle barrier. Anybody can get in here. They can walk over, they can crawl under, they can do whatever. Don't forget, this is really a war zone. We have Mexican cartels coming across the border doing paid hits, killing people. They're kidnapping people in Phoenix. And uh, basically, they come across and do whatever they want. We're going to park our vehicles over here. It's going to be our staging area. We're going to go ahead and gear up. We're going to go on patrol. Despite their constitutional right to protect the border, the watchmen have no arrest authority and are limited to defensive action only. Now, if we encounter drug runners, they're going to attempt to use deadly force on us. They use deadly force. We use deadly force. We fire back. Everybody, at this time, load one round. Remember, muzzle awareness, keep them down. Do not point them south of the border. There are certain things we can't do. We cannot point muzzles south. We don't want an international incident. Captain, let's do it. Let's roll, folks. Nineteen hundred miles east in northern Florida, hurricane season is just ten days away, and the watchmen are running their final tactical drills, simulating a family extraction. This is serious shit. These are defensive measures that you're going to use to protect yourself. People in desperate times after a disaster who aren't prepared are going to take full advantage of you if you are the prey. If you are weak and unprepared, they will rape you, kill you, beat you, and do everything they possibly can think of that is evil and vile, and they will do it without even any concerns of you or who's watching. You have the right to protect yourself, your family, and anybody else who is going to be the victim of a violent crime. That is what you are here for. Do you understand? Yes, yes. sir! Take this seriously, learn, listen, and pay attention. During FPG extractions, watchmen are required to carry live firearms for defense. This is obviously the most serious thing we do. And when it comes to brandishing weapons around civilians, there's no room for error. Once the bullets left the end of that muzzle, there is no bringing it back. If mistakes happen, it could possibly cost someone their lives. I will be monitoring all your activities. Ellie, please step forward. Ellie has a lot of good experience and good knowledge under his belt. Listen to him, pay attention. All right, guys, first rule, you treat every weapon as if it's loaded. Second rule, you keep your finger off the trigger until you're ready to shoot. I am 42 years of age. I served in the United States Army. I got through infantry school, airborne school, and unfortunately, on the fourth day of ranger school, I was repelling. I repelled incorrectly, and when I landed, I ended up with seven stress fractures in both legs. 
They said I was no longer combat effective and they were discharging me. So I want you on the balls of your feet. He's slightly bent. I joined Watch for America because I wanted to be part of something bigger than myself. When people ask me why I'm doing this, I say it's for my family and for you. Because I felt like I meant to do this my entire life. Protect and save. Contact right! Contact! Ellie shines. His leadership ability and his camaraderie and his communication skills. He's a natural born leader. Ask permission to move. Move it! All right. Muzzle down. While the others share Ellie's commitment, they lack the same experience behind a rifle. And they have a lot to learn as they get up to speed. Jeff and Ed will finalize the FPG roster in just 36 hours. So the prospects are under the gun to impress the brass. Whoever passes is in. Whoever fails starts over. In Arizona, White Wolf's men begin their foot patrol in pursuit of drug runners. Captain, let's do it. Patrol, folks. The Mexican border is a hotbed of cartel violence, and the desert is crawling with unfriendlies. Don't just look ahead. Hands on a swivel. Man, be happy the sun's not out, you sons of guns. <laughs> Whoa, Factual, this is Badger 3-2. Come in. Go ahead. Boss, it looks like a fresh recent activity. Uh, I advise you come up. Roger that. Obviously, this was an entry point at one point. That Mexican soda bottle, all written in Spanish, that came from south of the border. This is fresh. There's still water in there. Cans not even bleached. That's a fresh poncho. Look, look at that. Cardboard's not even weathered, you know? No. That's pretty recent. A couple hours stops. So we probably just barely missed them. Fresh trash is a signal that Wolf's men are on the right track. Let's head north. Roger that, boss. On a zigzag line, not a straight line or a block. With signs of recent activity, the watchmen are on high alert. Hold up. Hear that? Bring it in on my paws. Down, check the sides. What did I tell you, Phoenix? What was the first thing I said to you? Do not point that it, muzzle. It, we pointed that sucker right across the border. So we don't need an international incident. One of our troopers, Phoenix, did not have muzzle awareness. It's serious. We have to take it that way. Otherwise, mishaps happen. All right, guys, we're moving out. A shot fired across the border, even accidentally, can technically be considered an act of war. Having avoided an international conflict and confident that whoever was in this area has moved on, the watchmen make tracks to pick up their investigation elsewhere. What we saw tells us that there are people out here who don't belong here. We realize the threat. However, we do not let the threat paralyze us. Oh, bogey, 10 o'clock. What the hell is that? Fall out. There he is. I'm going hot. Go, go. Get up position here. Live fire maneuvers are in full swing at the Watchman's Florida homestead. Down. Excellent. Safety on. And Ellie has emerged as the standout. This is protecting you from getting shot. However, not everyone vying for a spot on the family protection group is on target. Weapon is hot. Weapon is hot. Shooter ready. My name is John Connor. I'm 39 and I've been with the Watchmen for six months. Shooter ready. Misfire, misfire. Hold, hold, hold. All this weapon stuff is new to me. Finger off the trigger. Put it right here. Finger up here. I've always was interested in the military. I never joined. Get off that trigger. Right there. John was a walking cluster. You owe me 25 push-ups, Mr. Connor, for not taking that finger off the trigger. Thank you, sir. Generally, I want to do this because I love people. 
And I love God. Quickly, please, so we can get a move on here. I love the country. When you come through this firing line, if your shoes are not tied or your gear is loose, make sure it is secured before we get to the line. Is that understood, Mr. Connor? Yes, sir. Do not let that happen again. That's another 25 push-ups. John Connor, he was a soup sandwich. You were holding up your team. I'm going to have to push him. I'm going to have to spend a lot of time making this guy aware of what we expect. The Family Protection Group's Home Extraction Unit only accepts the best of the best. One weak link could mean the loss of innocent lives. First time I've ever shot an AK-47 assault rifle, and the magazine fell out on it. Mr. Connor, you've been a total soup sandwich. You've been a up from the day this started. Your gear's not squared away, you don't know your weapon, and you are up and don't know how to clear a malfunction. Is that acceptable? No, sir. Then why are you doing it? Are you acceptable? No, sir. Not now, you are not. Do you want to be part of this team? Yes, sir. Then you better get your ass acceptable. Do you clear me? Yes, sir. Straighten yourself out. All right, are we ready? Ready! I got chewed out for it. Good. But I deserved it. Contact! Contact! As the day wears on, John Connor isn't the only one to catch heat for his mistakes. Arrow shooters! What direction do you go on contact? Forward. Forward. Why did you all take a step backwards? Is this entire drill today going backwards? Everyone show me your right hand. Very good, at least we know our f***ing right from left. These guys are not working as a unit. This is the very basics of team tactics. We'll get this right, and it will be flawless before you become part of that team. You copy? Copy! I don't care if it takes all night, they'll get it right. Woo! Bye. Mainstream media has made us out to be hate mongers. That's not who we are. We don't allow it in our group. We don't even allow individuals in our group that want to overthrow government. How do you say your last name? Why would we want to overthrow something that we're trying to help and protect? All right, you guys are clear to proceed. We're American law-abiding citizens that want to prepare for worst-case scenario. The watchmen of America and militias like them claim that their right to assemble is protected by historical precedent, put into writing by the government itself. The Militia Acts of 1792. Congress passes a pair of statutes requiring citizens to arm themselves, each with a musket, bayonets, and no less than 24 bullets. And the Militia Act of 1903. A provision passes stating the organized militia would become the basis for the National Guard. Though states there is an unorganized militia, all 17 to 45 year old able bodied citizens have the right to take up arms and defend themselves and the country. Watch! Attention! In Indiana, the watchmen have gathered at Colonel David Nance's compound to prepare themselves for the aftermath of a nuclear disaster. Here, there's food storage, natural resources, and safety in numbers. In a worst case scenario, you can't rely on government, so communities have to rely on us. Fallout. This is where we lug out to, to build shelters, uh, to live, to survive. But just because they're outside the immediate blast and fallout zone doesn't mean that there isn't work to do in order to prepare for the worst case scenario. Sergeant Major Tomahawk! Sir. My name is Command Sergeant Major Tomahawk and I am the state NCOIC for the Watchmen of Indiana. I received the order to complete the task of setting up camp. Sergeant Aztec, front and center! The first order of business is to create shelter. Then the unit can move on to the tasks of water procurement and security. Typically, a shelter sh should be set up in anywhere from 15 to 20 minutes, depending on the type of shelter that they're building. I don't know what the f I'm doing. I'll, I'll bring it down for you. Okay. We're taking our sweet time, gentlemen? Well, we only got two people working that really... Really no excuse, I guess. Guys, samurai. Sergeant Major Tomahawk! Yes, sir. Why is it I've been here a half hour and nobody's got a shelter? I don't know if, if it's constipation of the brain's going around, but they've all went brain dead on me today. I get another 15 minutes if I don't see a shelter that's ready. Somebody's going to be sleeping on the ground. Understood. All right. Handle it. Let's get this thing fixed up, guys. What can we do different to make this work? Ah, right, boy, you talk about a quagmire. I take this very serious. I eat, I sleep. I watchman. 
it's disheartening to see guys that you have trained just blow it. Pathetic. A little criticism real quick, guys. This shelter right here. Who's going to be sleeping in this? Whoever's not on duty. Okay. It comes rain. Is this going to pool on you? What about a good heavy wind? If it rains or a heavy dew, who's going to be wet in the morning? Who's going to wake up with pissy pants? Who's going to wake up on the bad side of the bed? How long did it take to build a shelter? I can tell you how long. Way too long. Way too long. I think Boy Scouts could do better. As Nance's men retool their shelter. Down in Arizona, Wolf's men close in on what they suspect to be cartel drug running activity. I'm going hot. Move, move, move. We saw a black vehicle make a very rapid departure. What up now? Where there's one vehicle, there may be more. Sitting in their trucks, the watchmen are easy targets, so they scatter to defend their position. We don't know if they're down here picking up somebody that's been crossed over the border, if they're picking up a load of drugs that's been dropped down here. I bet you somebody's watching us right now. They went over that hill. They took off. Badger 3 2, all clear. Not sure what we saw. You gonna take a chance? Yeah, they're ahead of us now. With the SUV having fled the scene, the watchmen head north to continue their pursuit. Coming up. Oh, contact, contact. In Indiana, a security drill goes terribly wrong. Drop your weapon! Right In Florida, hurricanes are a given, and the calamity that follows is always unpredictable, and the unthinkable can happen in an instant. All right, everybody, we got a situation on our hands. Move, move, All right, let's move. go, let's go, let's go. We have a family in need of extraction. All of Jeff and Ed's hard work with their outfit is coming to a head. Remember, this is your evaluation. See if you guys are going to be part of the family protection group. This is the location. It's a 12-room structure. Ellie, you are going to be leading Echo Team, the entry team. Copy? Copy that. There's a couple of reasons we chose Ellie to lead the entry team. He's always wanting to excel and achieve more, and that's the kind of leaders we need. Be advised for Echo Team, there is a young infant in this residence. John Connor, you are going to be leading the entry team. John is under heavy scrutiny. Ray. Weapon is hot. Shoot out this fire. Hold, hold, hold. When we got to the live fire. Get off that trigger. Right there. We were highly disappointed. If you don't get your ass up on that line right now, you engage that target. I'm going to give you 100 push-ups. You got that? If he makes one single mistake. Drop that weapon down. He's still got men down there. He's done. He will be put back at the rear with the new class. This is the prospect's last chance to prove themselves worthy of the FPG team. Make sure you're secure. Keep your eyes open. Pay attention to what's going on around you. You got that? Got that. Yeah. Gear up, fall out, and get in position. Heads up. When you go into one of these things to extract a family, it could be after a hurricane and people are desperate for what you have. We're not the only ones who are armed. Criminals are armed. And they'll come, take what you have because they don't have it. Take three, go. All right, we're moving. While Tyndall's men roll out for their final mission before the hurricanes roll in, The watchmen of Indiana have put their shelter woes to bed and move on to other matters of survival. Water filtration, this is for long-term use. We do five gallons at a time, so if two go down and fill the top up and bring it back. The nearby river can provide an unlimited supply of water. The watchmen use a two-bucket ceramic drip filtration method to ensure the water's drinkability. As everybody knows, ceramic is very porous. It stops very, very minute particles. Over the course of several hours, the water passes from the top bucket, through the filter, and into the bottom bucket. One portion of the filter is good for 5,000 gallons of water. If the grid goes down, this system will become the unit's primary source of drinking water. Bad water in, good water out. That's drinkable. 
The watchmen have their food stores, shelter, and water provisions squared away. But none of that means a thing if you can't defend it. While the unit goes about making fire and grabbing snacks... I'll see what I made for supper. Spam in a foil package. A pack of dried potatoes mixed together. Coffee. They must also be concerned about securing the compound. We could have somebody may overthrow our encampment and come in and hold us hostage and take our equipment, take our food, take our water. I don't know if I can trust them to, to guard me or not. All right, here's the thing. We're going to set up an op force. You and I, we're going to bust these guys' bubble. Is that understood? Yes, sir. A perimeter breach drill is to test security to deem whether it can be breached. Sergeant Major and myself, we will suit up to look like an enemy or an undesirable. When we hit these guys, it's got to be hard, fast, and aggressive. We will insert into the woods, come up through the river, and try and overtake their encampment. There's going to be a fight. We're going to bring it. Ready to rock? Ready to rock. Meanwhile, in Arizona, White Wolf's men are hot on the trail of suspected cartel activity. Go, guys. Command huddle. After the near miss of an encounter with a suspicious SUV, Colonel White Wolf lays out the plan to investigate an abandoned shack reputed to be a rest haven for cartel mules. We're going to go clear that building, make sure there's no, anybody out there. Zebra, go ahead and take the guys out, but be careful and watch them all for the heat. All right. I'll stay back here and man a command post. All right, guys, get out there, kick ass, make me proud, and do what you're trained to do. Badger form the patrol. Gentlemen, saddle up, let's do this. Right here, a little bit farther. All right, guys, let's cover up this vehicle. Let's get a camouflage. Let's get it ready for operations. We'll copy that. Copy that. that. Okay, hit him, Badger. All right, guys, the shed we're about to assault is approximately one mile from the border. That means it's going to be hot. It's going to be dangerous. There is a small red shed that we need to hike out to. It's a little area that's used as a layup by illegals, where they wait out the heat of the day so they can travel at night. All right, gentlemen, let's do this. Oh, it is go time. Staggered diamond 10 pace, guys. Skirmish line, guys, go. Approaches the shed in stealth mode. The point man, Phoenix, recons the situation while the others maintain a safe distance. Florida, the watchmen are in a last minute scramble to prepare for all out civil unrest. We got five minutes to get off property. Yes, Let's sir. go. We got two weeks, 24 meals. Yes, sir. Cooking utensils, uh, propane. We got four, sir. 700 rounds of ammo. We got everything, sir. Lift. Get it up. All right, grab the water. Let's get out of here. We I dropped my gun. You what? Name a problem. Get out of this damn day to go get it. Hurry it up! Alright, you got everything squared away now? Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. Damn right you're sorry. In Indiana, Colonel Nance and his second in command, Sergeant Major Tomahawk, have embarked on a mission to determine if their unit is capable of withstanding an attack. After a major disaster, civilians become desperate for supplies and shelter. Therefore, security at the compound is of utmost importance. It's two against seven, but Nance and Tomahawk have the element of surprise on their side. Aztec, we want to concentrate up here. Can do that. However, the rest of the unit senses danger. You always have to have your head on the swivel. 
We are always got to be alert, always got to be looking. left over there. Watch that left. Got nailed. I need a medic. The colonel and the sergeant major inflict a good deal of simulated damage. I was shot about three times. I'm bleeding out. In a real world scenario, my shoulder would probably be ripped to Up front! But with the numbers and more ammunition on their side, the defenders take the upper hand. Sergeant Major is hit, goes down. I ran out of ammo. I surrender! Drop your weapon! I surrender your weapon! Drop your I weapon! Surrender. It's down! Drop it's your down. weapon! It's down! Hands on your head! On your knees! Hands on your head! Down on your knees! I'm a dead man! Secure his weapon. He's clean. After today's firefight, I'm stoked again. My guys became hard chargers like they were supposed to do, and they did it. Letter perfect to the grade. How many of you hit? How many? Train as you fight and fight as you train. Next week, it could be nuclear attack, terrorist attack, meltdown, grid going down. Where'd you get hit? In the leg? Where at? It was right down here. Okay. This can happen. The next time could be real brass, real lead coming at them. So we've got to be prepared, got to be ready at all times. You guys done great, but real world, it can happen. So just something to sink in, absorb it, and think about it tonight. We are the watchmen of Indiana. We're prepared, Semper Paratus. In Arizona, the watchman's investigation of cartel-related activity has led them to this shack, suspected to be a layup spot for cartel mules. The scout, he sneaks up on it as close as he can, looks through some rangefinders and tells us there's somebody there. What did you say? It's hot. It's hot, Roger. That. One possible. Looks like it's occupied. Attention! Sounds going to mass so massa. Attention! Sounds for the mass of Sikavessa. The run is gone. The run is gone. The run is gone. Go! Get on sack phone. Come on, border control. This is Sam Posse from the Watchmen. We have two runners. Attention! Gordon is east. West. See the path. They dumped the pack out there. The mules got away, but the watchman returned to camp bearing a gift for Colonel White Wolf. Phoenix got something for you, Luther. Oh, hey, your school bag's here, man. We don't get discouraged. It's just one of these cat and mouse games where you may not find anything. Sir, to be honest, I, in my opinion, I think they were just regular illegals. Yeah, we got there. I think, I think we scared the out of them. They ran. Our presence here, we believe, makes a difference whether we actually find anybody or not. Which way did they go, Roberts? East. East. That's kind of tough territory out there. For now, the suspects may have evaded Wolf's team, but the watchman's job is never done. The people on the other side of the border who are running drugs or, or illegal substances know we're out here. They know we're here. And we'll be out looking for them again. With Florida's hurricane season looming large, the pressure is on the FPG prospects hoping to make the team. This is it. This is our last opportunity to swear these guys away. Whoever passes is in. Whoever fails starts over. And this is their final chance to prove their worth. I'm nervous. Heart's pumping. Adrenaline's pumping. 
My job as team leader is to make sure everybody's ready to go do their job without me having to get on their ass. I made some mistakes. If I make them again and they give me the boot, that's going to be rough. If John wants to earn that patch, he's going to have to put out 110%. No mistakes. Not one. Innocent civilians rely on the Family Protection Group to shepherd them to safety in a time of crisis. If somebody makes a mistake, someone can die. And it's my fault because I'm the director. Echo team is ready and ready for the go. It goes uphill. The team must secure the grounds of the residence to ensure the safety of the family waiting for extraction. Go ahead, whenever you're ready. Copy that. Go, go, okay, go, move go. It, guys, move it. go, 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 go. Move it. In the midst of civil unrest, homes may be overrun by looters, putting the family awaiting extraction and the watchman at risk. The most dangerous position is the knock on the door because you don't know what's on the other side. Hey, ma'am, are you okay? I'm not sure. We're with the watchman. Is there anybody else in the house? My here? son is in the back. Grab need, him. Anything you need. I need my diaper bag, and I have enough. I'll one. get the bag. Just okay. get your son. Can I get a sit rep from all security elements, please? Echo five, clear. Copy that. Wait one. Obviously, John's internalizing the training because he's moving like a machine out there. Anybody else in the house? No, it's just us. Family is ID'd. Team is in place. Copy that. Ellie's really squared away. Family is secure. Over. He stepped up to the plate. He proved himself. Go for extraction. Exiting the structure. You're safe. Stay with us. Friendly's coming out. Package is secure. We can roll them. All right, let's roll out of here. Good job, guys. Even the hopefuls that were on the bubble fired on all cylinders. And with a successful extraction under their belt, the team heads back to the homestead. These guys are going to be able to go back out in a natural disaster situation. All that training kicks into gear. John? Welcome to the FPG family. It's an honor, sir. We started something good here and we built something really good that people can believe in. Ellie? Thank you. It's an honor, sir. Anthony? It could be your brother, your sister, your family, Patrick, that we're out there helping. If anything goes down, this is who you call. It could be your lives that we're saving.